nursing has always been my plan. I just took a crazy route to get there. So I started in the nursing program in Tennessee straight out of high school. However, I got a little sidetracked, didn't do so amazing. So I decided to join the military. I did eight years active duty as a medic in the Air Force and nursing was still always on the back of my mind. It just took me a little while to get those prereqs done and everything while I was active duty. I applied to a few programs, got accepted into the Averett University ABSM program. And luckily it was lining up right when my contract was coming to an end with the Air Force. So I transitioned from active duty to reserve and now I also do school full-time. And I knew it was gonna be challenging, but Thankfully, the military has also prepared me for challenging circumstances. I have small children and sometimes you gotta get things done a little bit quicker. So I was like, how can I get done the quickest and most effective, efficient way? Yes, my children are learning that mommy needs to study right now, but I'm excited that, you know, in 16 months, I'm gonna be graduated and that I'll be able to work. And hopefully I can find a 12 hour position where I work three days a week and then I can give that time back to them. ABRIT is preparing us through our clinicals because we are getting that hands-on experience so that when we are set out and you know, actual nurses out in the real world, you know like, okay, these are my strong suits. I'm gonna run with that. These are my weak points and I'm gonna take more time to learn this area. They've also done a really good job with getting us lined up for the NCLEX. They've given us the ATI material that allows us to study outside of our curriculum, but also gears us for that NCLEX test at the end to make sure that we are ready to be nurses. I want to work in labor and delivery. That is my passion, that's my heart and soul. And I just want to be very encouraging to those women who are in labor. I have two children. I know what it's like to be in labor and how discouraging it can be when you've been there for 10 hours and you still don't have a baby in your hands and your body's still doing all this work. So I wanna be that foundation for them to know that, okay, you can get through this. We're gonna get through this together. But I also want to be that person that is very educated and knows like if things are happening because bad things do happen in labor and delivery. So I want to make sure that not only am I their advocate and that I can encourage them to get through that labor process, that I'm going to hold their hand if something goes south and we're going to get through it.